Hi everyone. This week on Cannon Hall Farm TV, Matt the Vets here from Donaldson's and he's going to do a DNA test and a passport for Blossom. We're also scanning the cattle to see if they're in calf and we've had a new arrival, a little baby llama. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Ah, Rob's away on holiday and he's missed the birth of this little fella. It's a little creer, it's a male llama, born about two days ago. Uh, as you can see, it's drinking, it's looking great, looking healthy, nice shiny coat. Mum's doing a superb job. Uh, we were, we knew she were expecting, but with llamas, it's very difficult to tell when they're actually gonna give birth. So a really pleasant surprise and she's doing great and he's he's doing good as well. I would imagine Nicky will want a naming competition for this little guy. So if you've got any ideas, please uh, let us know. Don't you just love llamas? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much though. <laughs> right, we're scanning the, uh, the short horn herd today. It's important that we get the, the dates of when they're gonna calve so we can be ready for them and we, we can get the feeding correct as well so the calves don't get too big. But it's going really well at the moment. Uh, we're here with Matt, uh, he's got a, a fancy little device, he's got a, like a, a, a tablet that you can see uh, what uh, the ultrasound's doing uh, and whether the, it's in calf or not. So, uh, scanning cows, very similar to scanning people in the sense that the equipment's the same However, the methods are slightly different. Uh, the uh, ultrasound probe here, the waves come out of this part of the probe and we scan over the mother's womb and see if we can see a calf in there. Obviously, if we do, good to go. If not, then we have another go. On the screen that I've got, I've got like a grid and in that grid is like a centimetre depth so I can work out the size of the fetus, the size, of different uh, organs and different anatomy that's going on in there and it gives you quite a nice picture as to what's going on. First one's in calf, she's a month in, but it's a good start. So out of the entire herd, there's only three cows that are in calf, which is, that's, that's great. There's plenty of time to, for them to get in calf. We're gonna put him back in with Jeremy and uh, hopefully he's gonna uh, do the job. Hi guys, it's Farmer Ruth here from uh, Cannonall Farm. We're here up here with Blossom. Today's a very, very big day for Blossom. She's having her vaccinations, she's having her DNA testing and her passport filled in to prove that she's actually a shy horse, which we all know that. So we're going to put her collar on and off we go. So Blossom, we're going to muck about a bit with Blossom today. Uh, what we've got to do is get her passport. So what we need to do is give her a microchip, which sits Hey Blossom, we go about there. Uh, yes. We need to get her drawn. So that involves uh, putting all those markings, so that white marking on her face and the white markings on her feet and uh, and such, all drawn onto a passport uh, documents, which are all in here. We'll send all of her official documents to the Shire Society and we should uh, uh, have her passport and all the documents required back soon. And then the last bit that we've got to do as well is DNA testing. Now that DNA uh, will be analysed to make sure that she is, you know, who she says she is. Um, and we take some samples of her hair from her. So we just got some clamps, pull some hair out, put it into a little plastic bag and send that off as well. So uh, it means that when she's, uh, when it all comes back, she's officially who she says she is. So the white bits on the horse come out as red shading and you can just see here that's that front left leg on this side We've just drawn on that white patch there and then the little white socks there as well Okay. So the DNA sample uh, we have to take samples from her hair and the best place to get that is the mane and depending what the sample's like from the mane we might switch to the tail we put that in a uh, sealed envelope and that goes away to the lab for DNA testing The key with this is we need to make sure that the hair doesn't break and we've got some nice follicles attached So, there we go, there's Blossom's hair, all sealed and ready to be sent off. So we're just about to microchip her, this microchip sits in the big ligament that runs down from the back of her head, down to her withers, uh, and uh, it's a bit of a bigger needle than the rest, so she might jump a little bit at this, but uh, it'll all be over in a flash. Right, go. Hey. Good girl. Hey, 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 hey. Keep up, keep up. Keep up, keep up, keep up. That's a good girl. So a lot for uh, Blossom there, Ruth, did yeah. go all right? Yeah, it did, yeah. Um, obviously the microchip, as you saw, she didn't like that at all. 
but she's calming down now. Matt, I don't think she likes Matt anymore. <laughs> just dear, no, don't like him anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's a big day for her today, so but all has gone well. And we're all set, aren't we?